sa lahat ng oras sa bawat araw ikay lagi tapang kung magmahal ang iyong kaawaan ay magpawalang hanggan pinubuhi sinasamba Welcome to Santa Tomas First Baptist Church online worship service. Hi, I'm Pastor JP. Next Sunday is Resurrection Sunday. So today we are going to talk about what happened to Jesus before his crucifixion and resurrection. Before we already have talked about the three major ministry of Jesus Christ. What is this? Yes, teaching, preaching, healing. Again, what is the three major ministry of Jesus Christ? Yes, teaching, preaching, healing. During his lifespan, as he continued to do his major ministry, then he kept on moving toward the Jerusalem. For what? Yes, for following God's will. What is God's will? God's will to save his people from the death through the crucifixion and resurrection. Then look at the verses, John chapter 12, verse 12 to 13. Verse 12 says, On the next day, the large crowd who had come to the feast, when they heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. See, there is the large crowd. Then verse 13 says, Took the branches of the palm trees and went out to meet him and began to shout, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, even the King of Israel. When Jesus Christ came to Jerusalem, there is the large crowd 
who welcomed Jesus Christ. And now they shouted, Hosanna, Hosanna. However, what does it mean, Hosanna? It can transfer like, Lord, save us. Now the people, the large crowd of Israel, they shouted like, Lord, save us. Then they welcomed his coming. There are many people who followed Jesus Christ. Why? Because they heard that Jesus Christ healed the sick, revived the dead, and fed the hungry people. They heard his miracle and his words. That is why they really welcomed and shouted out, Hosanna, Hosanna. Yes, there are many followers of Jesus Christ, meaning to say that there are big fans of Jesus Christ. But look at verses, other verse, John chapter 18, verse 38 to 40, 38 says, Pilate said to him, what is truth? And when he had said this, he went out again to the Jewish and said to them, I find no guilt in him. Now Pilate, he just mentioned that I find no guilt in him, meaning to say no guilt in him. And verse 39 says, but you have a custom that I release someone for you at the Passover. Do you wish then that I release for you the king of the Jewish? And verse 40 says, So they cried out again saying, Not this man, but Barabbas. Now Barabbas was robber. Jesus was caught by Jewish. Jesus was caught by high priest and Jewish. But Pilate didn't find any guilt in him. But now many people named shout out and actually cried out, make him judges or judge him, judge him. They were saying like, a robber is better than Jesus Christ. How horrible now. Now nobody with Jesus Christ. There are no followers. There are no disciples with Jesus Christ anymore. We already know that when Jesus Christ entered the Jerusalem, there are many followers, there are many people who welcome Jesus Christ. But in the other verses, no, there are no one beside of Jesus Christ. Why? What happened to Jesus Christ now? Because they were just a big fan of Jesus Christ. Again, they were just big fans of Jesus Christ. Their only interests are his miracles. Therefore, when Jesus Christ was judged, when Jesus Christ died on the cross, nobody was with him because their purpose is their needs. But there are two men, there are still two men who kept side of Jesus Christ. Sinosha, who are they? First one is Joseph of Arimathea and second one is Nicodemus. Look at verse John chapter 19, verse 38 to 39. After these things, Joseph of Arimathea, being a disciple of Jesus, but a secret one for fear of the Jewish Jews, asked Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus. And Pilate granted permission. So he came and took away his body. The first one is Joseph Arimathea. And the second one, verse 39, Nicodemus, who had the first come to him by night, also came bringing a mixture of myrrh and aloes, about a hundred pound wheat. Who is Nicodemus? Do you know John chapter 3, verse 16? For God so loved the world. One of the famous passages were verse in the Bible. Jesus took with this famous passage with whom? Yes, he is Nicodemus. Look at John chapter 3, verse 1 to 2. Verse 1 says, Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. And verse 2 says, This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you have come from God as a teacher, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Now Nicodemus came to Jesus Christ, but what is his question? His curiosity is about the kingdom of God and the eternal life, not his needs. Look at John chapter 3, verse 3 to 4. 3 says, Jesus answered and said to him, Truly, truly, I said to you, unless one is born 
born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Verse 4 says, Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? He cannot enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born. Can he? Yes, his curiosities are the kingdom of heaven and the eternal life. Look at the conversation. See, you can feel that. And Nicodemus knew it. Jesus has the answer to his question. And now Nicodemus finds it. When Jewish interested of what Jesus has done, but Nicodemus interested who Jesus is. When the people looked for their wishes, miracles, Nicodemus asked about the eternal life and the kingdom of God. That is why when nobody was there beside of Jesus Christ, when he died on the cross, Nicodemus was with Jesus Christ. Then he offered 100 pounds of myrrh. Do you know the value of the 100? 100 pounds of myrrh? Someone says that its cost is 100 years of labor. Can you do it for Jesus Christ? So I have a question again to you. What are you looking for in the church and what are you looking for in Jesus Christ? If you are still looking for your needs, your wish, such like money, house and lot, and your jobs, in the church, in Jesus Christ, you are just a fan of Jesus Christ, not a follower of Jesus Christ. And you are the one who crucified Jesus Christ. Then when Jesus Christ in his glory, you would not be there together with Jesus Christ. Why? Because you were looking for your wishes, your needs. Because your only interest is your needs, your wish, not Jesus Christ himself. Not his kingdom, not the eternal life. But if you were interested of him himself, his kingdom, and if you'd be serious of the words of God, the Bible, you will be there when Jesus Christ in his glory. Your name will be written on high together with Jesus Christ. Again, what is your interest? Your needs, your wishes, or Jesus Christ himself? Or the kingdom of God and the word of God? Definitely, surely, I know that many of you still doing, still attending the Sambanga B. Why are you joining? Why are you doing the Sambanga B? Definitely, because of your needs, because of your wishes, you want to achieve your wishes. Please stop it. This is not biblical. This is not biblical work. Please stop it. Why? Because we are not just a fan of Jesus Christ. We are followers of Jesus Christ. We are not looking for our needs, wishes in the church and in Jesus Christ. We are looking for his kingdom and the word of God and the eternal life, the salvation. Before the Resurrection Sunday, please remind it who you are, how sinful you are, how can we enter the kingdom of God? How powerful the word of God. Then your name will be lifted on high together with Jesus Christ. May God bless you. Hope to see you soon as Manalangin Tayo. Let's pray. Lord, thank you so much. Before the resurrection Sunday, we just talk about what happened to Jesus Christ before his crucifixion and the resurrection. Then we know that Nicodemus, who came to Jesus Christ, with his curiosity about the kingdom of heaven and the salvation. There were many people when Jesus Christ entered the Jerusalem, but when he died on the cross, nobody was with you, Lord. But Nicodemus was different because, because he has a desire to know about the kingdom of heaven, the word of God, the truth. Lord, please encourage our SFBC members. Some of our members still going to Sambangabi for their wishes, for their needs. But please encourage them, stop to do it. Then allow them to have questions about the kingdom of God and curiosity of the word of God. Then please leave their name on high and please bless their life, O oh Lord. We are very weak. That is why we need your help. Humbly ask you to come to us, guide us, lead us into your blessed way. Lord, we worship you, glorify you, Lord. We love you so much, Lord. Please remember those who are very sincere to keep on following to you, Lord. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us forever and ever. Amen. Amen.